What's going on YouTube? I'm Nathan Mixon and last month was the water challenge and if you've been, if you've been staying true to the water challenge, your skin should be a lot smoother, you should be feeling a little better, a little bit more energized, your nails should be looking like nice and strong, everything should be going right into play, right? So you should be drinking water and you should be peeing a lot so your pee should be pretty much clear by now. Anyway, you're used to it now. So now there's a new challenge. This is February 1st and today is a new challenge and today we're going to teach you how to lose weight by eating breakfast. Studies show that breakfast is a kickstart to a healthy weight loss journey and it stops you from binge eating. So you don't necessarily have to eat breakfast, but it's very important to eat breakfast to keep you from overeating later on in the day, especially if you didn't have a big meal the night prior. Depending on your size, the average person will eat around 12 to 1300 calories to lose weight efficiently and effectively. So that means you had to break down your meals into certain calorie categories. All right, so breakfast I think should be the biggest meal of the day being that, you know, you're going to be the most active and you're trying to lose weight. So you want to taper it down. So your breakfast should be roughly around 400 calories, okay? And then taper it down from there. But we're just going to talk about breakfast right now. When it comes to your fats, proteins, and carbs, you should have a recommended gram intake of those certain categories. For instance, when you have your protein, you want to have at least 13 to 20 grams of protein. Now you can get that from anywhere. You can get that from your meat that you have in the morning, from your turkey, or whatever, your eggs, or you can get it from a protein shake. When it comes to carbs, you want to have around 40 to 50 carbs. Now carbs can come from your fruits, it can come from your whole grains, things like that. But you want those healthy carbs that's going to help keep your body moving and keep it going. Now when it comes to fats, you want to have at least 10 to 15 grams of monosaturated fats. Now those are the natural fats that come from like avocados, nuts, and seeds and stuff like that. That's the one you want to get to, that's the kind of fat that you want to have inside your system. Some studies show that if you do not eat breakfast, it could possibly slow down your metabolism because your body might think it's starving itself. But in most cases, that's not going to be the case because most of us don't starve ourselves. We just don't eat yet, you know. So um, your body's going to start burning the fat first anyway if you don't eat your food. But it's going to be a long time before that happens. So you want to keep your body kind of regulated by putting at least something in your system. If you don't make it to 400 calories, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But eating breakfast helps you think clearer. It helps you feel better. Give you that morning boost for your busy day ahead of you. That is your challenge February 1st all the way to the 29th because it is leap year. So, that being said, make sure you stick to the challenge, share this video with your friends, and subscribe, and I hope you like it, and I hope you accept the challenge, and the challenge from January is still going on, so you still got to maintain that water intake, alright? So, catch your next challenge, peace. Subscribe to Mix of Fitness. Go. Give me one, that's one, good job, give me another one. Two, good job, three, don't put that on the bed. Go, four. <laughs> Down five, go to 20, six, Whoa. seven, Help. 